Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are going to do some craft with me and uh, we are going to play with uh, different kind of things. We are going to use uh, real flowers, we are going to use dried flowers, we will be using uh, some napkins, some paste, some decoupage glue, some moss paste, moss paste. We are going to use uh, this one. <laughs> Believe it or not, we are going to use a hammer. And we are going to use the stencils. So uh, let's get started. I will uh, put my flowers aside for uh, a little while. And we are going to start with um, some decoupage so that can dry while we craft on. This is uh, my next uh, journal. This is the cover that I have started with. I will decorate it more further on when I get the feeling of what I like and what how I want it to turn out. But it's uh, right now covered with uh, eco dyed uh, textile, some uh, old vintage dyed linen and some cheesecloth in the middle for strength and uh, for uh, the papers I'm going to use these and uh, these are the ones we are going to start decorating today and uh, this is ordinary copy paper on which I have used gesso and watercolor and hand painted each and every one of them so they are a little different and random colors and pattern but they all going uh, in the blue greenish beige white scale nothing much yellow red or something like that i am a uh, bit bluish person so I'm going that way if you want to do these ones before um, you decorate them there is a uh, tutorial in my uh, feed so uh, I will link it down below so that you can find it if you want to try this first it's uh, very easy to do it but uh, it's a bit messy and uh, you need to be able to spread your papers for drying uh, outside or somewhere that they can be lying uh, in peace so no one is uh, running around and and uh, make them uh, move while they dry. Uh, we are going to do ordinary pages like this and we are also going to use a trifold and decorate that too. But let's uh, begin with uh, one of the pages. Or maybe we can take two at a time and uh, use some uh, decoupage. I have ordinary decoupage glue, just uh, I buy these in uh, these big containers, so I pour it over for these uh, small ones so they are easier to have on my table. So let's see, let's pick up some 
napkins to use. I think we are going to take these ones. And uh, all of you now, now that you uh, know that you just use one piece of the napkin, there are often two or three layers. On this one it's uh, three. This is the th one we are going to use. And then you have two more. And as you can see, it's a little bit of pattern on these two. So these can be beautiful as backgrounds to use. So don't throw them away. You can use these two. So then we are going to take pieces of these. I'm just tearing them because they uh, make more beautiful way of um, get glued down. If you uh, use the scissors they have these uh, sharp edges and it doesn't look as natural as if you do it like this. When you have these ragged edges, they uh, fall into the background in a much easier way. So I'm just uh, taking a few of these flowers or leaves actually. There are also small butterflies, it's very cute. Let's take one more while we add it. I hope you are all um, well and uh, that you has have been uh, able to uh, not get corona or covid i have got my uh, two uh, vaccinations now so i'm a little bit more secured that's uh, nice Okay, let's see. We are going to put this down, but I think I'm going to do some random doodling just as a small decoration. actually not writing anything I'm just uh, doing a fake script to uh, just decorate a bit so let's see how we are going to place this down 
see if it has the same it's uh, the same way I think we will do like this so I'm just see if we are in in frame Checking. Perfect. Yes, I'm not so fond of uh, digitals or uh, what should we call it? Uh, pattern that are repeating itself. So I don't like to do a journal that uh, 45,000 others have done. So I often do my own uh, pattern and my own printing. And uh, there's no f no negativity to to digitals. I'm uh, just fond of uh, doing things so they are unique and a bit special i like that kind of things myself i'm living in a small town and i think uh, it has got to me that if you go and buy a blouse in a store here in my town you uh, will next day meet another girl with the same blouse and uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I want to be unique. So, uh, and the same thing with my journals. I I want it to be my kind of journal and not something uh, some other girl has done. I don't want to copy anyone. So that's a bit why I do much of my own paper. So um, please uh, enjoy digitals you, uh, that you like. This is just my way to do it my way. So um, it's uh, totally okay to use it and uh, especially for for those that just have started doing journals, it's much easier to use the pages that are already made for this. So um, just take one step at a time and uh, use the digits and uh, make a journal and uh, then you can do other things later on. So, um, just play and have fun. I just wanted to explain <laughs> why I always do things a bit uh, different. And uh, I have got the questions why I don't use digitals in my journals, but I actually do, but uh, not in a whole journal. I uh, like to have uh, pieces of the digital so I can use maybe one page or one picture so um, and then I do other things okay I will uh, dry this with uh, my heat gun and uh, then I will be back and we can uh, take it a step further they are now <clears throat> dried and uh, it looks like this and on this page <clears throat> like that and the other one almost the same. So uh, let's move on and put on a bit more things. I have used uh, more napkins and just uh, pulled out some 
more things to glue down. So let's go with a butterfly. And uh, maybe some other flower. in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Something like that and maybe the blue butterfly down here. Just be light on your hand when you use this and uh, use a lot of medium to um, glue it down so it will blend into the background don't see any edges if you have done it the right way looks like it's in the paper let's take the other side of this one and uh, do some other greenery it's uh, nature inspired this uh, journal if you haven't already guessed that That's kind of uh, my favorites. Nature and uh, vintage. And blue, of course. Everything uh, that is uh, blue is okay in my world. I like old book papers and uh, old photos and things like that. Everything that uh, feels like it has uh, a bit of soul of history. That's always something I appreciate. I like to think about where the paper has uh, been and uh, who has uh, written the letters and uh, what they were thinking at the photos and like that. It kind of makes it more special. Okay, we will leave these to dry and uh, get back to them later on. Just put them aside to dry. On my other table. So I will just dry this off so it won't get destroyed didn't have any water at this time so let's take uh, a trifold this time two and see if we can uh, make something of this I think I uh, will Put the page in right here so it will be like this in the journal 
and then you can do like this and open it like this so this will be like a flap and it's uh, pinned down to the journal in this crease think about uh, what we will do next I think we will go for some uh, stencils and uh, some paste this is uh, gesso but it's uh, a bit uh, dried, so it's uh, not so wet. I have uh, left it with the um, lid off, and then it gets a bit more easy to use as uh, more like a texture paste so I'm just putting this down and I will drag the gesso into the stencil like this Making it rather thick, so I'm sure it will uh, cover it. And then I'm just lifting it up, and hopefully, we have a leaf. And if you get these uh, small things, you can just uh, take them away. And as this is gesso, it will dry rather fast. You can give it a little heating. on the other side now we need to remember that this will uh, be a flip so you have to decide which uh, which is uh, the flap side so this will be where you sew it in to the journal ripping out some of the threads give it a little more 
light and romantic feeling. This is uh, is cheesecloth, and I have just uh, dyed it with some uh, textile color. We use uh, the color to dye yarn here in Sweden. So I can't give you a brand, as it's uh, different in every country. But uh, you can uh, find it in. Uh, stores where they uh, sell paint and chemicals and things like that. Squeezing it down a bit. I'll just put the lid on this one. So, don't dry anymore. Finding a piece of eco dyed textile with a lot of small pattern on it. And then I think I want a piece of old book paper. Let's see if I can find a nice piece. Doing like this, then you can see the textile on both sides. That can be nice. Taking some of the threads and blending them with the green one. I'm using book binding glue so I'm sure it will uh, stay down. That works nice. Dry. 
So um, let's see if we can do some doodling or should we take, no, I think we'll take some flower punching. So let's take our little piece of wood. flowers and a hammer. Some parchment paper. Then I will take my flowers and I think I will go with lupin first. this and uh, start with drying a stem. I think I want it on this light part. So I think we will just do just a little, like a little stem. Then I will take a few flowers and placing them where I want them. really love lupins that's one of my favorite flowers but here in Sweden uh, they are a bit of a kind of um, flower that uh, people don't want because it uh, takes uh, over all the All the other plants and uh, kill them as these are so strong so many people uh, just uh, take them and uh, rip them and uh, kill them because they want them uh, dead but I really like it to do more. I was too kind. <laughs> okay, now let's see. If we get any colors. Not so much this time. Maybe because it's uh, gesso on it. again. I don't know why it doesn't work. I guess it can be the gesso because on uh, ordinary paper it uh, stuck right away. I 
let's try one more time and that, if it doesn't work we will uh, do another way it can be the gesso that makes it uh, not working therefore it doesn't work but um, let's do it another way we will take some textile instead so let's do maybe we need a bigger one let's take some silk that's fun this down I did this on ordinary textile and you can see it was a really nice pattern on this one and also these kind of flowers did the, exactly the same way so I guess it's the gesso that uh, makes it as this is a medium for uh, painting and it uh, should be protecting the paper from soaking. So. I will try it on the textile instead. That's nice too. So let's do another stem. Maybe we can let it go over the silk like this. Go down like that okay let's do another try see if we can get a flower onto the journal page why didn't I think of that of that that the gesso would protect the paper Now we have learned that. That's good. We need to try new things out and uh, even do some mistakes. One more row of leaves, I think. clean paper it's a bit smaller on the top so now it's getting better this that's nice I think I want a little bit more blue on the middle so just do like this get some more of the blue tone That. and then we 
Okay, we'll dry this. I really think it's a bit fun when it's uh, actually the real flower you use. So um, on top of the flower, it's often uh, small pieces of uh, green leaves. So I will just uh, doodle a few of these top leaves. And I'm just doodling some more leaves. So we get this uh, flower feeling. If you would like, uh, you can also take some color and uh, fill it in. Maybe some more on the stem or some different bluish colors. You can also use uh, different uh, colors of the flowers. will make it uh, a bit special too. Something like that. Just glue this down a bit better. Finish in a rush. I think I didn't do it all the way. So let's um, take some of the mask color. We can uh, get some color on the top leaves. Get a smaller pencil and uh, some water. a little greenish feeling
keep a bit on the stem. You can actually use uh, any color you want, watercolor or uh, acrylics or some textile color will also work. I think I will go take my watercolor and see if we can get this uh, flower a little better color. So, see if we can move this a little bit. Purple. See if we can blend this. Be careful on the textile. Don't use too much water. It can uh, take it on its own way. Dabbing off some water. And you can just uh, build up some more 3D feeling by coloring the leaves. On the flower a bit more. some uh, different colors it gives it a bit more life when it's uh, not the same color all the way and you can leave some white space here and there if you like that's okay. You don't have to paint each and every one. You can just take one or two here and there. So you still got a flowery feeling. Something like that. I will 
uh, put this away and dry it and uh, I will be back in a second. And this is how it looks when it's dried. It's fun and a nice silky feeling. If you want to have some leaves, you can just doodle them or maybe do some stenciling. And the same if you want. Uh, some more colors on the paste. You can just uh, take any color and do it the same way as we did with the other leaves. Just give them a little coloring. You can also put um, color into the paste before you do this if you like but this uh, goes rather quickly so this is okay too it's craft so it's handcrafted and uh, that's nice People can see that you actually have put a lot of job behind your journal. You can leave it white also if you like. I think that's nice too. It uh, got uh, summer here in Sweden very fast. It uh, felt like it skipped the spring and uh, did go straight over from winter to summer so uh, at the moment I'm just loving everything green and uh, spiring <laughs> in the garden I just enjoying every flower and every leaf that comes out of the ground I have also uh, put down seeds with uh, tomato tomatoes and uh, a bit uh, other different kind of things to eat and that's uh, a bit uh, exciting. It's not the first time, but uh, I haven't done it for a few years now. So that will be nice to... I counted, I have uh, 27 tomatoes go coming up at the moment. And that's uh, just the beginning, so hopefully I will get tomatoes all the summer. That's uh, good. Maybe we should uh, get some greenery at onto this one too. I'll put that away. Do some leaves. are a bit special the leaves on uh, these I'm not 
not sure I'm uh, totally right. But something like this. This is so fun, doing these uh, small details. Okay, I think that will work. did this one and one more Okay guys, this was uh, my tip of the day. Use your imagination and uh, play and have fun. I uh, will be back using uh, textile and uh, some other uh, specialties, dried flowers and things like that. So uh, follow me and uh, Please uh, subscribe and uh, like. Hopefully you did like it. And uh, check in uh, the other movies. I have a giveaway going on with a beautiful uh, journal. So if you're interested in that, please uh, go and check that out. And if you have any questions about uh, this uh, way of decorate, please uh, write it in the comments. So I will try to answer it as good as I can. It was fun to be back playing with you all. And uh, until next time, bye bye from Sweden.